Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Omar again, another episode of Community Voices. Happy Saturday. Appreciate y'all tuning in. You know, we got Julius Randall tapping in with us, so. What up, Jacob? What's up, everybody? So as we wait for Julius, you know, what's everybody doing this weekend? You know, I see, I see all the waves. I appreciate it. What's up, y'all? What's up? Let me see. Let me see if you already tuned in already. No, nah, not in yet. I'll wait for him to to say what's up. Wait for him to throw a comment in. A, throw a comment in. How the sound though? I know before with the AirPods it's a little wacky, so you gotta throw some thumbs up. Uh, some thumbs up. Let me know the sounds good. Then we good. Striking on the Oregon Five brought me too. I definitely took an L on that. Yo, what's good, Jay? I'm about to add you in right now. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Now let me see. I don't even see the. I don't see his request. Yo, Jay, you got a you got a request to join the live, so I can add you in. Yo, who picked up those fives today, though? Let's see. Let's check it out. Let's see where he at. Nah, he definitely in here. Oh, there you go. Oh, you did? That's what's up, man. I definitely took the L on those fives. Yo. Hey, what up, man? What's up? What's up? How you doing, fam? I'm good. I'm good. How you feeling? I'm good, man. I'm blessed. Yes, blessed. sir. Appreciate you tuning in with us. Absolutely. Absolutely. Appreciate y'all having me, man. Yeah, of course. Of course. You know, especially um all the conversations we've been having around education. So I appreciate you t- tapping in with us and having that conversation. Especially as right now, you know, with the times we're in to make sure, like, we make people aware of, like, the importance of it, especially, like, in the low-income black and brown community, so. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah man, I'm, I'm, I'm happy, happy to be a part of, happy to be a part of, uh, of the discussion and just to be able to help, man, you know, most of all, so, yeah, yeah. Like I appreciate y'all, man. Yeah, of course. So, the people who don't know, viewing, I'm the Senior Cultural Partnership Strategist, Finish Line. My name is Omar. Um, yeah, we've been doing this every week. We started on Juneteenth, on June 19th, and talked about the importance of that day. And mm-hmm. each week, we've just been tapping with different talent and talking about different, you know, foundations and different passions and the philanthropy, things like that, and donating for each episode. So, yeah, it's been going well. Yeah. So, super happy to, you know, work with you and speak on your passion, especially around education, and make that donation. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. Uh you know, when it was opportunity was brought for, uh, brought to me uh, to work with you guys, and you know, to be able to give back to the community, um, it was it was a no brainer for me. It was a no brainer for my family. Um, we're always looking ways uh, at ways to get involved, uh, yeah. partner. You know, whether it's out of our own pockets, uh, whether it's you know partnering with people that uh, you know I I have partnerships with. Uh, to be able to help, but, you know, I feel like anything helps. Um, and, you know, this this is a perfect opportunity, not only just to have a discussion, but to be able to give back, like I said. Cool. And that's a perfect segue, you know, mentioning your family. Mm-hmm. I know for you and your mom growing up, education was, like, you know, paramount, key. Yeah. So I- talk, talk about how, you know, how it became such a priority for you and her. Uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> my mom... Um, like I said, it was it was only me, her, and my sister. Um, mm-hmm. You know, she was she was on us. You know, it was no sports, yeah. uh, TV, no phone. If the grades wasn't right, mm-hmm. um, you know, first thing we did, you know, I, I'm sure a lot of people can relate. Uh, before we was able to go outside, the homework had to be done. Facts. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, we, we definitely had uh, we definitely had you know a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of ground rules in the house. Um, And and for me, looking back, it just gave me um, a great discipline. Um, 
great, great uh, understanding on, on, on priorities in life. Um, you know, I, I knew that I had to have my grades right. I knew that, you know, you bring that progress report home or you bring that report card home. Yeah. Uh, you want to be able to, you know, bring it home and smile and, and Mm-hmm. and not be nervous bringing it home because right. you got a bad grade or you right. teacher broke something bad. Oh, got crazy real up. quick in the house. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's backing up in the class <laughs> or whatever it, whatever it might be. So, uh, you know, for me, it was it, it was definitely a, a priority in our household, um, education first, for sure. Yeah, even for me, like, my mom was the same way and waking me up at 6 in the morning to get ready for lab, zero Absolutely. period in high school. Absolutely. Man, like, it's too early. It's still dark outside taking the train. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. The, early, the early mornings, for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then recently, you did a feature with uh, Undefeated, talking about, you know, the importance of making sure kid, all kids have the equal access to being able to be, like, successful in, you know, whatever career or life uh, choices they decide to do. So how does education relates to uh, you know kids success uh i mean it kind of goes along what goes along with what i just said uh mm-hmm. you know um i always whenever i talk to kids or or you know i, I talk to people i say you know you can do whatever you want to be um but you know the edu- the education part for me it just gave me great discipline um yeah. you know it gave me you know a lot of times you know, you want to go outside or you want to go to that tournament or, you know, like we play AU and all that stuff and traveling. And, you know, you had to have your grace, right, if you wanted to do it. So, you know, you not may not always want to, you know, do your homework and stuff like mm-hmm. that. You know, you want to play or whatever, be a kid. But for me, education was was first in our household. You know, yeah. we had to make sure everything was right uh, with our grades. And, you know, it just it was great. I had I was fortunate enough growing up to have great teachers. And yeah. it made the learning process fun for me. So, uh, you know, that that was amazing. But like I said, it's just it's just great discipline for me. Yeah. And that's amazing you had great teachers because now I think about it, they're, they're so important in, like, molding the minds of all the kids growing up Absolutely. and making sure they ate smart and, you know, know not even, like, right from wrong, but just, like, just become great human beings in general. Absolutely. And, and, yeah. that, was, and that was perfect for me because my teachers uh, – they, I mean, especially as I got older, they understood that, you know, I was traveling a lot and mm-hmm. I kind of uh, was on the radar as a high school basketball player, being able to, you know, to choose, you know, the college that I wanted to go to. And uh, they knew that, you know, basketball for me was, you know, what I wanted to pursue. Right. Uh, at the same time, they worked with me and they allowed me to be me as a person and, and you know, be me, uh, show my personality and all that type of stuff, uh, who I was as a person, you know, through education, through the classroom and all that type of stuff. So. I was very fortunate and blessed with that. For sure. And then moving on, I actually saw this article about these two kids using McDonald's Wi-Fi to get, like, their schoolwork done. <laughs> so, which is, is, to me, especially today, is so crazy. Yeah, So, absolutely. So talk about, like, how did you get involved in making sure, like, the kids in, like, lower-income areas have all the tools they need for remote learning because, you know, that's the thing right now. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, we're, we're living in a different time right now, you know, with the pandemic, with the virus that, you know, we're not able to get a normal uh, school learning experience uh, mm-hmm. like we would. And, um, you know, my wife and I, we've talked about it many a times um, about how we could help. And uh, when we had brought it to uh, CAA, um, the CAA Foundation, uh, Hillary and those guys suggested, you know, I, I've partnered with JBL for, for years and mm-hmm. uh, with headphones. And, you know, when we talked to them, uh, CAA, uh, they basically have said that, you know, um, one of the major things that schools need right now is headphones because they're doing the, the remote learning and all that type of stuff. And right. it's a no-brainer. Um, you know, you get a certain amount of, of uh, you know, merchandise you can use. Um, and, and JBL was great with wanting to help as well. And for me, it was just like, you know, sending to, you know, as many schools as I can or mm-hmm. as many headphones as I can to get a school. Okay. <laughs> that I'm uh, familiar with or, or, you know, that, that I've worked with or, or, or that my wife is familiar with. We want to help uh, as much as we can. So for us, it was, 
it was, the big thing was uh, giving out, you know, as many headphones as we can. Cool. Shout out to JBL. I know they, like, partner with a lot of players, especially as they come into the league. So Absolutely. they're doing that, a great job with that. Yeah, no, they've been great. They've been great. Uh, yeah. Not only, you know, hooking me and my team up, you know, our, our family, but uh, anytime I've come to them, uh, as far as charity stuff, uh, whether it's, you know, through the holidays or, or right now, like during the, uh, the coronavirus and the pandemic, they've always been willing to help. Cool. Yeah, shout out to them. Absolutely. So um, talk me through, like, all the charities you've been partnering with and working with. So, Yeah, so uh, a lot of times during the holidays, uh, like I said, I, I've done JBL, Nike's help. Um, mm -hmm when I've wanted to do stuff. Um, I've done back to school stuff or uh, I've partnered with, with a lot of brands. I probably had to, <laughs> had to uh, <laughs> run down and name the list, but uh, a lot of stuff, you know, um, I think that's even more important to me rather than, you know, than partners, you know, my wife and I during the holidays out of our own pocket, you know, we want to help people. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we've done stuff with, with schools, um, um, mentoring family, I mean, uh, helping families. And for me, that's, that's, uh, more the humbling experience for me because, you know, the holidays growing up as a kid, it's, it's a lot of mm -hmm. pressure for, for moms and dads, um, to, you know, see, uh, see, you know, their kids have a smile on their face, whether it's, you know, Christmas time, giving their kids gifts or, yeah. you know, uh, Thanksgiving, you know, putting food on the table and, for uh for my family the humbling thing uh to be able to give back to these families and just not see the joy on the kids face but more see you know these parents crying in a relief yeah. that the parents have um is amazing and you know whether like i said it's us coming out of our own pocket or us partnering with people man it's it's just a humbling experience and i, I think it's nothing like it yeah and it's amazing to see like the, the smile you put on the kid's face and even like the motion, like, the uh, between the donations that come out of, like, the parents, especially the ones that work in, like, two jobs, like, 16 Absolutely. hours a day, you know, making ends meet. So, yeah, those Absolutely. things go a long way. Absolutely, for sure. Yeah. So, for us, for Finish Line, we definitely, you know, love you, love what you're doing, and we want to donate 15000 to uh, your Kentucky schools, because I know, you know, Wildcat. Absolutely. And then, yeah. you know, and Dallas, since, you know, that's your hometown. Absolutely. Yeah. Normally, yeah. I have like a big novelty check, but I'm in a whole fight <laughs> right now. Yeah, we are. Uh, <laughs> man, I, I want to say, man, I, I appreciate you guys, man. This, this is absolutely uh, amazing. Um, yeah. You know, these schools and and these kids, especially these kids in these lower income income communities, man. It's just you guys. People may not realize. You guys may not realize how much it helps. But yeah. like I said, just those personal interactions, those experiences that I've had with these families, uh, with these schools, um, just the relief um, mm -hmm. and the appreciation, uh, you know, it's extremely humbling. And I, I want to say thank you guys for, for, for doing this, for helping me uh, do this. And, you know, um, I can't say thank you enough, man. Thank you for real. Yeah, of course. It's, no, it's our pleasure. And we enjoy doing this too, you know. Absolutely. I feel like it's a great way so people know – it's almost to inform people at the same time people know where money's going, especially, you know, when funds get donated. So, yeah, and like the good is doing. Absolutely. You guys are doing a great job for sure. For sure. Appreciate, appreciate that. Yes, sir. Cool. Yes. So that's about it. I don't want to take up too much of your time. I know it's Saturday, so. Nah, I'm nah, we're good, man. You listen, man, I got all the time in the world for this, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. All right, cool. Appreciate it. We make sure you get that money to the schools. You let me know which ones and then we took care of the ref, so. For sure, for sure. Appreciate you, brother. Y'all be easy, man. All right, cool. Take care, Jay. Yep.